Hi guys, welcome back. This is a follow-up video to the last two that I've done regarding my new Hit Micro Alpax Day and Night Scope. The first video was an unboxing one and the second video was a field test where I went into a bit more detail regarding the scope, one shot zero and some footage both day and night. So if you haven't seen those guys, check them out, leave some comments, let us know what you think. But this video is literally me taking it out after some rabbits and putting it through its paces really. I've already been out and I've had three rabbits during the day, there wasn't much about. Over this particular ground there's loads at night so hopefully tonight it's going to be a lot more productive. Now I'm sure some of you have already noticed that I've got two torches attached to the scope. Now this isn't some sort of overkill thing to try and get as much light out there as I can. In my previous video I said that I was going to trial the Solaris SRX laser. Now a lot of night vision scopes can't handle a laser and I want to see if this one can or not. Will it white out? Is it going to be any good? Is it going to be a lot better than the normal TX38 IR torch that I use? I don't know, I'll find out a little bit later on. So it's literally just a little bit of feedback which I said I was going to tell you guys anyway. So looking forward to trying that. I'm going to go home, get myself fed and I'll catch you guys over the field a bit later on.
So there we go, the first proper trip out with the Hit Micro Alpac scope and it just didn't disappoint. I knew it wouldn't, um, but it was just nice to go out and have a proper session with it. I couldn't believe when I put it onto night mode how good that scope performed with the ambient light coming in. It was sort of like a half moon out there, it was quite bright, but it was almost like looking through a thermal when you're looking at the um, rabbits and that fox, it was incredible. That fox was about 180, 190 yards away. It was a fair way off, but you can see it's clear as day. So yeah, I was very impressed with that feature. I wasn't expecting that at all. Now, regarding the Solaris, those rabbits that were on the bank, they were around the 140 yard mark. The laser performed well, and when I put it into a tight spot, obviously it whited out right in the middle. Um, when I clicked it up once on the zoom, it was a better picture, but on the lowest base mag, that Solaris didn't work that well, it left like a black ring around it. So I tried it at around 60, 70 yards as well and it did exactly the same thing. You could see the rabbits as clear as day, it actually outperformed my torch. But I can't be doing with the black ring around the outside, so it'd be interesting to see what other laser torches, like I know a PBIR may work like, or the um, IR Light Builds 1, something like that. Uh, I will see if I can get older one and try a different torch with it, but um, the Solaris is good but I couldn't get on with it as in on the lowest base mag setting. So a bit disappointing, but the actual clarity of it, it was really, really good. So there we go, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed this one. There'll be another video coming up very shortly and some other bits and pieces I'm working on as well. So as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.